So, you guys see London, her hair looks crazy. We gotta get you together, girl. We gotta get you together, girl. You sleepy. Oh. You don't wanna go. You wanna go to sleep. Mm -hmm. So, all I gotta do now is just my lip gloss. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get London ready. I bought some, like a little jacket for her from H&M and it's super cute. So, I'll probably put that on her. But I'm gonna get her ready and come back and show you guys how we both look. All right, so I'm about to do London's hair, if she'll allow me to. <sighs> her hair gets messed up so easily from when she sleeps. But go ahead and cut this back one out because that's like, uh-uh. Don't grab that. Uh-uh, don't grab that. She literally wants to grab everything. No, I know, I know. She hates when I do her hair, y'all. But it has to be done. I know you're a sleepy baby. You're a sleepy girl. And we're all done. Literally, all I did was put a rubber band back where the other one was and just gelled it up a little bit. I use the Eco Styler gel. You don't have to use that. I know some people don't like putting that in their kids' hair, but I do, so yeah. And this is her little outfit. So I got this sweater from Zara. I'm with you up, girl. It's like an oversized sweater. And then she's wearing some little gray leggings and just some socks. Nothing crazy. But yeah, I think we're about to. Well, I gotta put my clothes on, my um, pants and my shoes. And then get her bag ready. And then we're gonna be out of here. I'm pretty sure she's gonna go to sleep in the car because I know she's tired. So right now I'm about to put on my perfume. I'm loving the Baccarat one. So I got this when I was in Atlanta for Halloween. And y'all, it smells so good. So I've used that much already. And like I said, I got it on Halloween, a Halloween weekend. So I've been using it very heavily. But I need to switch out my purses. I'm going to wear this black one instead of my brown one. So I'm going to do that, do my lips, and... Yeah, that should be it. I literally, I literally cannot find my purse, and I need it because it has all my money in it. I'm gonna have to go look in the car really quick. Let me see. Oh, hey, I got money in this one. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I don't know where my. It gotta be in the car. It has to be in the car. Please be in the car. London. Hello. Hello. Hey, Jeanette. How are you doing? Say hi to my vlog. Hey, vlog. How y'all doing? <laughs> so we're at the house, and I love it, y'all. Like, I love it. Right now, we're getting it inspected and just chilling out. Um, our friend Julius is here. He's our realtor, too. We're just chilling out, talking. But, um, but I'm so excited. I really want to bring you guys on this journey with me as far as decorating and, like, the home tour and, you know, just, like, getting little stuff for the house. So... Y'all, please pray that we, you know, everything goes smoothly to the end, you know, at closing, that we get this house because I really want it and I'm kind of in love with it already. So, so you guys don't know Julius, but he's literally always late to everything and, <laughs> and he beat us here. So that's saying a lot. So, yeah. But yeah. You're looking for a house? Go yes. Talk to Julius. Yes. Talk Julius. Out. I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> Julius. I'm jerk. But yeah, you know, feel free to contact me. I'll definitely get you the home you're looking for or even sell your home. So yeah. Yeah. I'll put um his uh, Instagram down below if you guys want to check him out. Yeah, so. follow my YouTube as well. Oh, just start, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or su subscribe, excuse me. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll put all that information down below. But yeah, I love the house. Yeah. I love it so much. I like this, I like this, like, even though it's a view of like other people's houses, like I like it. It feels like you're in like a tree house. Like you're on what? the third floor. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just talking. Mm -hmm. But like we're on the third floor right now. Yeah. Right. You can see in our bedroom right there. Yeah, I see, right. I see a couch or something. Oh, there. Oh, that's a bed, that's a bed. Yeah. It's like a couch. Well, we definitely gotta get curtains and yeah. blinds in here because you can really see. Straight into people's stuff if you don't got it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can see there. I think I'll get a chair. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> you all up in there, all up in that space. That kitchen looks small. What are you looking at? The, the gray, the, the gray one oh, in the middle. middle. Like, oh. it looks like the yeah. The walls are closed in. You can tell a smaller one by the size of the balcony. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. I didn't even peep that. Mm -hmm. We were thinking, um, we don't know what we're gonna do with Eddie. Yeah, because okay, yeah. I'm thinking like his. <laughs> <laughs> what? Another, another, another cat, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. No, so I'm thinking maybe his food can go um downstairs, and you know that little space is cut out. His food can go right there, maybe. Oh, I thought y'all about to get rid of him. That space is not gonna work though, cause he flips. But wait, we gotta change something with his food. Just give him hard food. Have to have hard food only. Food in the house. Yeah. So when Eddie eats, he flicks the soft food everywhere, and it it just makes a mess. Now, as far as the litter box, I don't know where that's gonna go. I mean, there might be nicer litter boxes too, though. That would be better, like for homes. Yeah. Like maybe something he can, like something with more structure that he can like crawl into. Yeah. Don't they make those like automatic litter boxes where? Like, yeah, they do. I haven't um looked into it though, but I think they do. Yeah. I think this would be the time. The only that. time I would even think about doing something like that, just because it's like you don't want to get. I don't want to get rid of that. I don't either. And the next thing is his nails. He ain't be tearing up no furniture, not in here. All right, so we're gonna be vlogging today. First off, excuse all of this mess in my background. All those boxes, they're full of flat irons and heat protectors, so excuse all this. I'm gonna just turn a little bit more this way so y'all can see our tree in the back. We have no ornaments on it, maybe like one or two. So we gotta get some more because last year the cats like broke them all up, so we gotta get more. But today me and Jason are gonna go out to eat, maybe go to Apex, and then who knows what else. Honestly, it's nothing to do because of coronavirus. Everything is closed, so we might just chill out. I don't know. But I did my hair. And sorry if the camera is shaky, y'all. In my last vlog that I recorded, it was, like, super shaky. And I had, like, a little stand, so I didn't upload it. Now I'm holding the camera just with my hands. So hopefully it's not as bad, even though I know I have a shaky hand. So... Please bear with me. So right now I'm just waiting on Jason to get back from getting a haircut so we can go eat because I'm starving. I don't even know where we're gonna go yet, but I'm gonna go get something to eat and then I need to go to the mall to get some all black for the class tomorrow. And what else I gotta get from the mall? Probably Christmas presents. I haven't gotten anybody anything. Well, I got Jason one thing, but eh, I kinda wanna get him something else because it's kinda, I mean, it's a good present, but I feel like it needs to be something else too. So. We're gonna do that and yeah. And I wanna show you guys my outfit, but my full length mirror is in the room and my room is a mess. So I'm not gonna show y'all me in the mirror. I'm gonna just show you guys what I have on. So this jacket is from Zara. I got it like, I got this in March when I went to DC. And this little bodysuit is from Skims. Jeans are from VIM and then and then I have these like really tall shoes on. Excuse that, that's hair. But I have these like really tall shoes on from Pretty Little Thing. And then I bought this bag from Marc Jacobs. I thought it was really cute. I love all things like furry, if that's the word to use, but I thought it was super cute. So, so that's what I'm wearing. Literally waiting for Jason. Um, His haircut is done. He's just on the way, so. Yeah, I'll probably talk to you guys when he gets here because I have nothing else to talk about right now. All right, y'all, so the man of the hour has made his way back to the house and he has a fresh haircut. Yes, <laughs> yes, he is back. Oh. Hello, oh, oh, oh. okay. Oh, let me spin it for you. Not a game. Okay. Let me tell you what happened. All right, what happened? So, my barber has been flaking on me for the past, I would say two weeks, but really three weeks. My last cut, my barber cut my waves out of my head. So I've been letting it grow and grow. And then last week I was hitting my regular barber up. Said, are you owe me in the shop? He had an excuse. He said, I can come and cut you at my house later tonight. He never hit me up. Okay, fast forward to this week. I hit him up. We're excited about having a fun day with me with a haircut. You can't have a fun day with no haircut. Exactly. So hit him up. Another excuse. So then I go to my old roommate's barber. And if I ain't get in there, so I hit Janae up at 11.38. Well, yeah, it was 11.38. And I said, 
It's one ahead of me, but you know what I mean. Whatever. I'm in here at least. Yeah. If I if my cut won't done by twelve twenty, it took him twenty minutes to cut my hair. I was in the chair by twelve. So anyway, I say all that to say these are the results. <laughs> So, okay. And I'm abandoning that barber, my old barber. So. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we are about to go eat. And it's kind of like in football where your starting quarterback get hurt and then you got to rely on the backup and the backup outplay the starter. Mm. Hate to see it. Okay. Well, anyways, we're gonna go to this place called Canvas or Canva. I'm not really sure which one it is, but it's on Grammy Street and it's new. So we're gonna go there, get some food, and then go to the mall because it's like right across the street from it. So that'll be perfect. And yeah. Yeah, we are back in the car. My hair is getting tangled. All right, y'all, so we are back in the car. We went to Canvas, um, downtown Norfolk on Granby. It's a new restaurant. Same people own it that own Culture and Cork and & Co. And it was really good. They had hookah, which restaurants around here do not have hookah, so they're the first. How'd you feel about it? I liked it a lot. Really? It just gives you the bright, like the vibe that we're looking for, like our, like our culture, for real. Like. Yeah, because, you know, you can only, like, get that kind of vibe and like dc or atlanta so it's good that they so it's good that they bring it here and then we went to locker room which is like a vintage shop right not vintage but yeah, yeah it's vintage and like it's like <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like, like a little consignment store they sell like shoes and you can bring yours in to trade them in and get cash and all that so that was cool now we're about to go to macarthur mall So now I'm about to go to MacArthur Mall. I need to get some black for my class tomorrow and then maybe get our feet done and then meet up with our friend Julius for some drinks. So, yeah.